This video will show you how to remove the tension assembly and the take-up spring for the professional sewing machine and the Sayerite 111 sewing machine. Their tension assemblies are very similar. By releasing that set screw, you'll be able to remove the tension assemblies. In some cases, they may be difficult to pull straight out. Then there's the uh, pin that uh, releases the tension discs. Remove that and don't lose it. Then there's a set screw here that locks the inner assembly around the outer assembly to tension the take-up spring. Release that set screw and then pull the center assembly out of the outer assembly. That leaves the take-up spring in place of the outer assembly. The take-up spring, if damaged, needs to be removed. If it's in good shape, leave it there. To remove it, just wiggle the portion of the uh, take-up spring hook so that you can get access to the inner springs. Then remove the inner springs and then carefully walk the outer assembly around the hook of the take-up spring. This may take a little bit of finagling. Once the spring has been removed, you'll insert your new take-up spring if it was required. Put lace the hook through the slot in the outer assembly. Then finagle it until the coil springs go inside the core. Should be done just like this. Let's take a closer look at that take-up spring. Here's an additional take-up spring. There is a little pip on the inside of the coils. You can see it here. That pip will go in a slot in the inner post of the tension assembly. You can see that slot here. You do not want to put the take-up spring on like we're showing here. We just want to show you how the take-up spring works. This little pip obviously gives you the ability to tension the hook of the take-up spring. Now let's go back. Obviously the take-up spring needs to go inside the core of the outer assembly. And then we'll take the uh, take up a uh, post that goes inside the core and line that slot up with the pip or the pin in the take up spring. Once they're inserted appropriately you should be able to rotate the inner core around the outer core so that you can gain tension or release tension on the take up spring hook. We want it to bounce back like this. So notice we're rotating it to get the appropriate tension that's about perfect. Once we have the appropriate tension, then we make sure that the uh, core is pushed all the way so that the uh, end of the core is flush with the uh, opposite assembly and tighten the set screw. Tighten it hard. There, we've got good tension on the take-up spring. The entire assembly is put back together and you'll notice that the core is flush here. Now all we need to do is insert the pin that releases the tension discs when the feet are lifted into the center of the core. Now insert the core back in the casting of your sewing machine. You want to push it in just enough that so that when the foot is lifted, the discs come apart. Let's lower the foot. Where's that uh, lever? Ah, there it is. We'll lower the foot and we'll raise the foot we want those discs to be separated with the foot lifted and when the foot is lowered we want the disc to come together to apply tension to the thread. You want the hook approximately at 12 o'clock. Once you're in that position tighten down the set screw in the side of the casting and you're done. Now test by lifting the foot. Do the discs separate? Yes. Lower the foot? Do they tighten? Yes, you're done. This applies to the professional sewing machine and the Sayerite 111. I'm Eric Grant with Sayerite. Thanks for watching this video.